So it's been broken. What do you think? Gonzalez has uh, time to catch up on that. Historically <laughs> so, but this guy has proven to be special. Who's going to carry the band? The people love this guy. And then you've got Kovalev, you've got Ward. Ward who yeah. nipped Kovalev back in the yeah. credit for Gonzalez. Well, Gonzalez hasn't turned the heat on yet. Uh, what's crazy is that usually he just keeps coming, keeps coming. Foul, he goes though from soon. Throwing B side, drops him and hurt him. Well, this well, side got. How many chances will you get in a fight? Depending on what kind of a fighter you are, and for soaring B side, but his emotion soared in. Maybe that knockdown implemented an attack and hurt Gonzalez's psychological. It's being administered here by soaring B side, and he is. Manhandling Roman Gonzalez here. Gonzalez responds to the crowd imploring him to do it. This is his house. But Soaring Visai happy to engage. Soaring Visai is going to hit some really good shots right now. And Gonzalez, oh, he gets nailed with the right hand just as you're saying that. Bombs away. And this is why these guys are so excited. The swing of B-side now is getting hit clean. It seems like he's found his, his space, and that's the thing. Oh, and he starts to come on with that. Roman Gonzalez opening up with the right hand behind the jab. Sign that he's starting to affect swing of B-side. Defense go home. Look that at could it. be the oh. theme of what these guys are advertising here. This is an excellent offensive round. What a body shot, Gonzalez. Just so Gonzalez and Soaring Visay. An excellent fight as we start round three. He had an attack going. It seemed like he's abandoned it. Oh, with Gonzalez last shot. Figure it. Who gets the last shot in? Well, also, I, I've noticed it a little bit that Chocolitos is starting to edge this thing a little bit. So if you're Soaring Visay, you don't want to hit him there. Even though instant. Well, so if B-side feels he's ahead on points, then he might want to go work that out. No, no, but not, not before the end of the fourth round, because then it would not count as a fight if it, if it was stopped for that reason too soon. And so if B-side right now is taking some tremendous shots. Taking and giving tremendous action in the center of the ring. He's 150. We've had knockdown, we've had a flurry, we've had a headbutt. And here comes Gonzalez back. Behind the head. Nice right. So every round of set, plus making it official what we saw and said that there was an accidental headbutt called with that clash of right hand. Good upper cut, good straight right hand by Gonzalez. So Visay right there. They want now should that cut? Well, explain it as we get time. Good right hand by Gonzalez. Good upper cut by Gonzalez, and then he shifts so. And I tell you, it's very tricky. He's always changing his, his momentum. Shots by Gonzalez, two very good ones. By Soren Visay. Gonzalez opens up with a hook. Soren Visay back to the body. This fight goes. They have opened up with the power, accuracy, sharp punches. These guys are trusting their chins. Salvation after this round. Big shots by Gonzalez. Some adversity that Roman Gonzalez has had to face. And this is what being the top fighter in the world is about, trying to rise above this. Just two beautiful uppercuts by Gonzalez. Off that ring. 
Burroughs with the lead right hand there against the lefty. Soaring V side, standing with him. V side to stay in punch and strength, but it seems to me that. Here comes more from Gonzalez and right back. He's throwing his opponent back. And then landing a big right hand on the left hook. And the crowd trying to implore Roman Gonzalez to dig down and find some more. Take right after that, thinking he won't do certain things. But it's called karma. I'm returning something. The conversation there was just not said. So what happens is, right now, Chocolito right now has to pay him back for what he did to him. I don't want to stay to the body to slow this man down. But if he stays to the body, he can slow his man, his opponent down. But guess what? His opponent's coming back. Well, how about tactically as you look at Roman Gonzalez? And the referee's looking, I see the referee looking real close. Throwing B side now goes righty for a stretch and takes a good hook from the body and another hook from the body by Gonzalez. And they were punitive for both of them. He goes right back there. He cannot miss with that area where he just was pulverized by those hooks. Look at these bombs that Soren Visai able to shake off. Tremendous punches right now. And I tell you one thing, for a little guy, Gonzalez is very hard. He's very accurate. Ah, Which is essentially what the last one was with the dominance plus. Well, he found another. Not anything else. It seemed like it really stunned him. But, um, Good straight right by Gonzalez. It's it changing, both of changing bombs in the middle of the ring. And, it, and it's an exciting fight, I'll tell you. Yeah, and, and if you're Gonzalez, do you, you start to think, well, no matter what I do, I won't get this guy out? The z -bot. I would not give up on Attack two at this moment, but they few and infrequent. There go a nice attack that Sonny Visa did. The wild right hand. And scores with the uppercut. Past the point. If that eye cut would have stopped the fight, he would go to the scorecards. And Soaring Vise trying a late run to Tuscany. Round eight. Roman Gonzalez. Tremendous shots from Gonzalez. Good combinations here by Gonzalez. Soaring V-side trying to answer. Oh, it looks like he got hurt there with the tremendous shot. Gonzalez. Keeps calm. Keeps calm. Uh, I'll be interested to see the punch numbers after this one. Yeah, Chocolito's going to work. Missed it. Gonzalez, big hook, and he wobbles his opponent. Cut, I got to give him more credit because that, that cut, cut does disturb your action. does stop him. He's so accurate with his punches. It ain't that he throws so many, he's so accurate with his punches. And here comes throwing Visai back. Quit attitude we see in fighters from those areas. Well, he, I'll tell you one thing. I, I give both men credit. He's high. A lot, Kevin. Oh, no, no, you were able to do that. Only swell. You swell. I've seen you overcome that. I've, I've overcome it because you know what? You can't focus on it. You got your will. The wind's got to be bigger than the, the group. It could be hanging off. It can't matter. Your leg could be coming off. It can't matter. Okay, nothing matters. But the top fighter in the world, Roman Gonzalez, face is... I think the cut has is, is made it even better. Opponent trying to capitalize on the blood going after it, but Gonzalez says not so fast. That was a good round, I tell you. It's a really good round from the hard to score this fight. Right here, he does it. <laughs> this could be a candidate. Yeah, it, it really is if they can sustain this kind of momentum. This has been.
So, Soaring Visai did his best work early and had Gonzalez is looking at someone who's undeterred by his own blood. Visai is saying to himself, what I got to do to stop this man? Maybe Gonzalez is saying the same thing. Yeah, but Gonzalez is used to this kind of battle. But I can tell you, it's getting close to getting stopped if you think about the blood that's here. Good uppercut by Soaring Visai. Big hook by Gonzalez. Maybe finish big for the ball player. And um, it just seems that he's waiting for the right opportunity. Uh, the blood is ferocious on his face right now. And he's got that so what attitude about the blood. Yeah, but I'll throw the right hand. It hurt him more to throw the right hand than his. Can you take a knee? <laughs> Mayweather took a knee. And we'll have one more round left to work with. Who won that round? He can tolerate the punishment he took. And I and one because I think it's lopsided right now. I, I've given him to a lot of the rounds. Uh, I took a lot of rounds off. Good body work here by Roman Gonzalez. This was one that tested his metal, tested his heart, and he has responded. Tremendously, now we would like to put. Uh, you see how these guys are on fumes now. Chocotito has made a statement about his heart and his attitude after being dropped and cut early. No quit. There's no quit. And still looking like a dominant fighter. And his opponent put up. Valeska Roldan scores it 113-113. He has it even. Julie Letterman and Glenn Feldman both scored the contest 114 to 112 to the winner by majority decision. And new WBC no. Super Flyweight Champion of the World from Thailand. Crowd is absolutely stunned. No. There's got to be an error on the scorecards, I think. You hear the reaction of the crowd.